Good evening and welcome to the Portax Chronicles, episode 2. Uh, yesterday I was uh, just shy of uh, level level 11 and uh, I've uh, been having a good day. I've uh, leveled the account, as you can see, to level 15. Uh, which, of course, also grants me a nice little achievement. Now we can go check that out. It simply uh, gives you 100 crystals and, of course, 500 XP. So with that, those 100 crystals, <coughs> we are actually already halfway, or just about halfway, uh, to a premium pack. So that really makes me quite happy. Now yesterday I also talked uh, about the, this current guild event. Uh, guild battle event uh, and I was going to look for a guild now uh, one of my uh, subscribers uh, suggested that uh, they actually had an open space for me so um, I went ahead and uh, accepted the invitation to welcome to NHK uh, which uh, <coughs> will welcome any active members um, so that's really really kind of you and uh, a big uh, thank you to this uh, to this guild for accepting a let's just say it, a low level account that really cannot do that much for it yet <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, what it really did for me is that uh, in the gift shop now or gift box there now are uh, two times fifty thousand um, mana stones and five thousand mana stones from a one uh, guild battle, and also ten uh, guild points. So this is this is really awesome for for this account. Now uh, <coughs> the first fifty thousand mana was from uh, just setting no that was for the uh, guild uh, declaring war that's right so that was the first 50,000 uh, the next 50,000 was uh, that the guild had done three guild battles and the uh, 5,000 is given out to all members of a guild that does not participate in the battle and also <coughs> 10 points will be given out as well so that was really really great. Uh, now I have uh, three hundred and fifty fifteen thousand mana, which uh, I really am liking uh, as a level fifteen. Um, I also summoned uh, a harpy uh, yesterday, a wind harpy, and I really did go uh, by leveling a. Uh, a wind team, really. I, I worked quite a lot on the uh, wind inagami, the wind harpy, and the wind vagabond. Um, simply to have some high level monsters. As as you can see, I have um, max leveled uh, three of the three stars. And um, I also got um, three water inagamis now. Um, I'll tell you in a minute why I have uh, gotten these, of course, and how. Um, I also, in the end, got a, another harpy, wind harpy. Um, now, yesterday I talked about uh, maximizing your XP output by going back to Garen Forest f hard mode when you hit level 16, 15, 16. Uh, of your monsters, that is, your own, the account was level 10 or just shy of 11 now the reason I did this was um, the Garen Forest um, hard mode really does uh, have a good amount of XP uh, you can get 4 star runes from the boss level uh, so that's really good as well 
And you also have a chance of a water inogami, as you can see up here. Um, so that's what I did for the first many summers. Let's just uh, show it. This was actually the team I've been running. Now uh, I had the uh, wind inogami as lead simply because he uh, buffed the speed of the other wind units and then I added in um, a water inogami simply uh, to add some versatility to the account so I had a, a high level water monster as well um, and then it's just actually I played it over and over I used quite a lot of energy today on this um, and I I had a lot of energy uh, from uh, the events currently going on and also from um, there were 50 energy given out and 100,000 mana for that matter for the uh, well some errors that come to us made um, so that was compensation <coughs> now you see these monsters uh, are handling this level quite easily and they can also do that at level 15, 16 where I actually started and every time you do this you do have a chance you can see you can get a nice uh, 3 star rune which is so much better than the first uh, 1 or 2 star runes so this I did uh, <laughs> I lost count a lot of times and actually two times in a row I got a water nagami which is pure luck um, you can't really count on that so <clears throat> after I have had done this for a while um, let me see I did some rune upgrades on uh, the water, uh, the wind vagabond um, he got a 3 star flat hit point rune here still had that and a 3 star hit point here 2 and a 4 star here which actually has some really nice substats with the HP percent and also a 4 star here um, so he got uh, quite a good hit point boost so he is uh, he's well off with about 6000 hit points um, also for the uh, the Harpy, no, I think this one, yeah, I got a 3 star attack percent rune for the Wind Inogami. Um, yeah, that was the one rune I got from there. Um, so, that's what I started upgrading at first. Uh, when Garen Forest uh, boss level were getting too easy, I started looking for another place to farm. Uh, simply because uh, of the energy to XP radius. Now I, uh, I got 500 some XP from Garen Forest boss level. Now the further you move up, uh, the more XP you will get. So looking that I had a uh, wind heavy team, I really wanted to look for for a water opponent. So I went to uh, White Ragoon and uh, I attacked stage 2, uh, which turned out to be a mistake. Uh, I simply was not strong enough uh, to handle those bears yet. Um, I was of course not level 25 with all the creatures. I might be able to do this now, but, um, but at the time I could not do that. So I uh, moved my attention to uh, Kevye Ruins. Now, <clears throat> this second stage uh, Doom turned out to be quite a good place. Um, in the beginning, uh, a lot of my monsters died, but one or two always survived. Um, so that was, uh, I pushed the units of the team to its limits and I still got full XP. So, that's really what you're looking for, the, the hardest stage that you can actually complete w without having a, well, a really high uh, failure rate. But if you can do it without any failure rate at all, that is of course best. So you can see the build up of this level. Um, 
it's mainly uh, wind units um, up to uh, the boss stage. As you can see, they the handle it pretty well now. Um, but that's also because I had the upgraded runes from Garen Forest um, with me, so I had uh, a fairly good amount of hit points and uh, a bit more attack on some points as well. Now here the boss is uh, a water boss, and uh, she's of course weak against my wind units, which is actually why I chose this level to, uh, to farm at. You see, we lost the water in Ogami now, uh, but it, it doesn't really matter. It, this is in the bag. And everyone gets 709 XP. Um, and every time you do this, um, you also have the chance of a uh, 3 star wind harpy to drop. And uh, that's only happened to me once, but this stage is the one I've been uh, oops, running uh, really a lot, this uh, Doom stage 2. Now, that will only really work well for you if you also have a, a wind uh, team built, or wind heavy team at least. If you have a good water team, for example, you might want to uh, turn your attention to uh, Mount Sis, the uh, stage 5 damnation, since it's all fire monsters, or even the boss level. Um, so that's uh, really what you... If you have a heavy team in one element, you have to find the uh, element that's weak against your team, um, so you can farm it faster and more safely. And, and keep push pushing your team. So you can get uh, that more uh, experience per energy if you really want to power level the account to this. If you want to <laughs> enjoy Garen Forest a lot longer, it's doable. You will, of course, level up that way as well. I just, uh, this time, will uh, see if I can't push it a bit. <coughs> um, so... It, in the end, I did uh, complete Garen Forest uh, hard mode, so I unlocked hell mode. But that will have to wait uh, a bit <laughs> before we attack, attempt that. Um, I also completed... Um, uh, what is it? Hü Hüdeni runes. So I unlocked uh, Temor Desert. Um, I haven't really tried any of that stuff yet. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, I really have a sore throat, so it's it's kind of itchy and uh, I cough all the time. So, uh, I do apologize for that. Um, I really want to unlock the third level here, so I can start farming that. But as you can see, it's a heavy fire team in the uh, third stage. And uh, that's not really what my units um, are built for. Now the reason I want to farm here is uh, that the XP is good. It consists mostly of uh, natural one-star monsters. And you also, of course, has the chance of uh, the wind griffin uh, as a drop here. And also a, a wind serpent, which is just food. But the griffin is a really, really great monster. Uh, something I want to add to this account. Um, I also, of course, did uh, some arena, and I think uh, yeah, they're all recharged. So let's uh, jump in and see if we can't uh, win a few matches. Um, you can see these uh, teams also. Some of them are are really good. This is uh, built around a probably free to play account as well. You can see this starter units and a awakened uh, natural one star monster. So we should have a decent chance of winning that fight. Um, since many of these accounts, uh, really, I think I'm just tr gonna try and auto it. Um, they don't have the runes upgraded yet. Uh, many just 
put them in the slots or uh, and forget about them and that's really a mistake you really need to focus a lot on the runes uh, the performance of the monster is radically uh, changed when you upgrade the runes I have come across quite a lot of monsters that uh, or accounts that is that uh, uh, well we're not really Oh, another thing, um, leader skills. Uh, as you can see, this one uh, would increase uh, the HP uh, in dungeons by 17%. But uh, if you look at the, the text, it's white. Uh, it's white because in the current state, this being arena, this leader skill will be disabled it, as it only works in dungeons. Now if I take a general skill, like uh, the Wind on Nagami, you'll see it'll be shown in orange. And that means that it will have effect in the coming arena fight. So really have to pay attention to these leader skills. Um, also in uh, scenarios, let's just show that uh, here. This is a scenario, this is not a dungeon, so the skill will not work here either. You have to go into uh, to the Hall of Magic, for example. Um, if we just take uh, giant P1 slot here, you can see it is now orange, and it will count uh, as a leader skill. So remember to bear that in mind. And uh, this coloration of the leader skill is uh, something they added in the last patch, and I think it's really great for starting players uh, so they notice when the leader skill is not really active i still see a lot of leader skills in uh, guild battles which are not active um, some c could be there on purpose uh, but uh, I'm, it's my opinion that many of them actually think they will work now let's return to the arena um, now this will be a, a, a really uh, heavy into fire team and I haven't really built too much about that around mine so we might wanna switch it up a bit so we can go head to head um, might wanna have her in as she uh, increases resistance to all and just uh, Put in a tank as well. Uh, do we have? Yeah. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Again, it all depends on the runes. Now, the the water fairy won't be much of a um, a challenge since she's only level one, even though she is uh, a four star. Uh, we can see we just alter this. I think we we are good. Again, uh, the we did have about the same level at at most of the monsters, but now you see uh, the difference between runes that are upgraded and runes that are not. And someone just pulled a polar queen. Uh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'm not envious. Nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's see if we can continue. Now, see, ooh, there are two natural four stars here. Um, so, this will probably not be um, a good idea to attack. Um, you see, the leader skill here also uh, increased the defensive fire monsters. So, she's quite tanky. But as a demonstration, I'll just see. One thing is that there are four star monsters and they're leveled up a bit. It's not sure that they actually have any runes worth talking about. So, um, mm -hmm. if we remove. We need something else. Um, might want to get him in there. Simple. Mm. We can just try anything. Um, see if uh, the runes of these guys are upgraded or not. 
Well, we didn't make much of it in the end online. So they are definitely upgraded. Um, so we're in trouble. <laughs> we are in trouble. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let's just buff that. We got a defense break on it, that's good. And some continuous damage effects. Uh, <clears throat> now this is bad. We will just alter this. Um, so there were some runes on that on done at least. Um, you can see the Kung Fu girl is going down quite rapidly. And so she does not have any runes worth talking about. But uh, the other monsters do. Um, but here in the beginning you never actually know um, it could have been an easy win even though they had a natural 4 stars without runes they are not that powerful um, but here we did not stand a chance but we held out for a while now the main thing here is you'll still get some energy drops here and there, and you will get the one glory point. So it's uh, it's never a waste to attack anyone. Um, see, this might actually be a good point to bring out this uh, little water a uh, wind team. See if we can beat something about that. Um, <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this uh, Inugami down. There we go. Mm, take the ferry. See if we can't kill that. Nope. Since it had the element advantage over our wind units, so we wanted that to disappear. And now we only need the light Garuda. Now also here in the beginning as you can see these towers really, they are the killer. They hit really really hard uh, since you, you don't have a lot of hit points on your monsters. Um, <clears throat> so you have to see if you can't finish the fight fairly fast. <laughs> uh, well here's something of an account that has uh, spent some money I think. Um, as you can see this is a level 10 account. Uh, he has a, a 4 star awakened water uh, grim reaper now that's definitely a lightning summon with a mystical scroll or crystal summoning um, he can not have farmed the essences uh, for that and uh, even more proof is here for the two other natural three stars and of course the wind ninja this will not be a team that i can actually do anything about so it'll just move along see if we can find anything else Here's something that has been summoning as well. Um, <clears throat> now, when you hit this, as yet, you see it is, of course, better to win than lose. You can always just refresh the list. And you'll be giving uh, the top players in the new list will be the, the lowest ranking ones. Not necessarily the weakest, but the lowest ranking ones. As you can see here, this level, what was it, 19? Yeah, he has some really, really nice pulls. So I have no chance of beating that either. Now this one might be better. Um, this is a water unit, so I'll just keep my wind team. Uh, and this is also something that is really important to keep doing. Uh, to find these uh, glory points. I actually don't know if I will have enough glory points to actually show you why, but I can at least show you what I want, what I will be doing uh, when I get enough glory points. Um, and it's all about energy, um, really. So after this match, I think I will just call it quits for now and uh, show you why 
arena is uh, this important. Of course, you can always get uh, energy as reward and crystal as well. So that's a, a nice little bonus. Um, the weekly reward, uh, you'll most likely be in uh, the challenger uh, rank. And uh, if it's two or three star, well, it depends on you, your account. But it will be hard to get to fighter at this stage, but um, it is possible. Uh, so you'll get 30 crystals, so that's uh, around 30 that is, so that's good. Now, what I really want to use these for is in the glory shop. Um, now, uh, of course, devil morns and all that are really, really nice to get, but they're also really expensive. So you have to uh, be able to farm more. Now, I actually just have enough now to buy this mysterious plant. What that will do is uh, it will uh, speed up your energy uh, recharge so you can uh, play the game more. And this is hugely important in the long run. So I'll just uh, buy this uh, mysterious plant and put it down here. Um, and now my energy recharge is uh, 3% faster. Now it isn't a whole lot, but it is very noticeable uh, if you uh, play the game very often uh, in a day. So this really needs to be upgraded uh, whenever you can. Now the price for the upgrade will of course uh, be higher and higher, so now I need 100 glory to upgrade from 3 to 6%. Um, now that I have shown um, the battles, I can go ahead and do one last thing. As uh, this is will is currently the top DPS unit for this account, so it would make sense to make her better. Um, but I do not plan to keep on using her though. So I might want to just use these three units to upgrade to a four star and might and may even level the other wind harpy as well. Um, the two watering agamis I will keep around uh, for that very reason that I'll get a fire inogami later on, and that that's not RNG. Well, a bit RNG is it, but uh, I I will be farming fame on. A volcano until I get one when I reach that level that is um, so for now uh, well, let's make the first four star for this account uh, and uh, then it's back to uh, dungeon or scenario farming for me so I can level her up um, I don't actually think I have any food monsters at the moment no I don't um, so that will be the only upgrade I'll do. I know I could do this as well, but I won't do that yet. Uh, I think in the long run it will be better to save those. And my team is strong enough to handle most of the content as it is. Um, sadly though, I do not have any special summoning scrolls uh, for for today, um, so no new um, summons for me. Um, I think that will be the update for today. Um, I'll of course uh, start leveling the new 4 star monster as fast as I can so I can get the power back on that unit and I'll probably go uh, around with the other wind harpy as well. Um, so that will be it for me today. This will be Valdis signing out. Bye bye.